How to grow and care for Monstera deliciosa. Monstera deliciosa is an easy tropical houseplant to grow and care for indoors. Monstera deliciosa, also known as the split leaf philodendron or Swiss cheese plant, is a tropical plant often kept as a houseplant. This easy to grow climbing evergreen provides a dramatic focal point due to its size and unique shape. Monstera deliciosa has glossy, heart shaped split leaves and is relatively easy to care for. It is a fast grower, about 1 to 2 feet a year, and takes about 3 years to reach full grown maturity. Monstera deliciosa grows best in humid and warm environments, requiring dappled or partial light, acidic or neutral, well drained peat based soil, and temperatures between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This beautiful plant is toxic to humans and pets. 1.MONSDERA DELICIOSA CARE Here are the main care requirements for growing a Monstera Deliciosa. Requires warmth and humidity. Can plant outdoors in USDA zones 10 through 12. Prefers partial sun or dappled light. Needs acidic or neutral, peat-based, well-draining soil. Use a pot with ample drainage holes and water regularly. Give balanced fertilizer three to four times per year. To dot how much sunlight do Monstera plants need? This evergreen prefers bright, indirect sunlight between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Too much direct light in warmer months may burn the foliage. Add a grow light to encourage lush growth. Outdoors, the Swiss cheese plant can grow in the full shade of deep woodlands and semi-shade of light forests. 3. What type of potting soil is best for Monsteras? Monstera needs an evenly moist but well-draining potting soil when grown in a container, ideally mixed with soil amendments like perlite and shredded bark to help with aeration and improve drainage. A mix of three parts indoor houseplant soil, two parts shredded part, and one part perlite should work well. Grown in the grown in its native environment, Monstera deliciosa likes slightly sandy, medium loamy, and heavy clay soils with acid or neutral pH. For dot how should I water a Monstera deliciosa? Water your Monstera once the first few inches of soil are dry. Stick your finger in to test the soil, then water slowly and deeply until water runs out of the drainage hole at the bottom. The soil should not be moist all the time, it should be allowed to dry out slightly between waterings. Limp and curling leaves are a common sign your Monstera needs water. During the growing season, a Monstera, in bright, indirect light, might need watering once a week. In winter months, it may only need watering every few weeks. 5. What temperature and humidity do Monsteras need? Monstera deliciosa grows est in temperatures between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It can tolerate temperatures down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but will stop growing at these extremes. It prefers high humidity, about 60%, to increase humidity indoors. 6. Do I need to fertilize a Monstera deliciosa? Monstera deliciosus need to be fertilized every few weeks during the growing season. To fertilize a Monstera deliciosa, choose a balanced liquid 20-20-20 fertilizer. Dilute one half teaspoon of the fertilizer in a gallon of water. Use the diluted fertilizer in place of regular watering. Pour the mixture into the soil until it begins to flow out of the drainage holes. Throw out the excess diluted fertilizer because the plant has taken what it needs and cannot use the extra that it drains off.